Tatat is a brand new plugin that can generate and manipulate MIDI streams and export MIDI files, available in both VST3 and audio unit formats. Tatat is not exactly a plugin made to respond precisely to the user, but it's more of a lunatic generator of ideas. With Tatat, we can define what we call a mood by using the generation and processing parameters and listen to an infinite, always changing flow of notes tailored around our settings. Once the mood is set, we can record the result, export infinite variations as MIDI files, play along with the stream and loop specific phrases. Tatat is a plugin that outputs MIDI and it's pretty simple to set up. In most DAWs like Ableton Live, Btwig, Cubase and FL Studio, we must launch Tatat in VST3 format. Then use the DAW's MIDI routing to set it as the input of the MIDI track where our target instrument is located. This is because Tatat VST3 version is registered as a MIDI instrument itself. On the other hand, if your DAW supports audio unit MIDI effects like Logic Pro, then all you need to do is load Tatat's audio unit version before the target instrument and you should be good to go. After the connection between Tatat and the instrument is complete, all we need to do is run the transport to hear it in action. If you're not sure how to set up Tatat, check out the manual which includes routing instructions for all the most popular DAWs. Now that we have it ready to go, it is time to explore the basics of stream generation. Everything that's located in the upper part of the plugin is devoted to the setup of nodes and their distribution over time. Starting from the left, we find the time section. Here we can set up to three different time resolutions based on our DAW's master tempo and use the sliders to increase or decrease the chance that one of them is going to be picked up when the next note is generated. On the right of the sliders, we can find the ratio parameter, which scales the time resolutions by its factor, allowing for everything in between plane multiplication and unsynced transformations of the stream. The dial is bipolar, therefore if its value is located in the middle, nothing changes and the scale factor is set at 1. Moving it to the left will decrease it, making the phrase go faster, while it's going to have the opposite outcome when turned to the right. The pitch section is where the user can establish up to 4 notes to use in the mood. Each note has its own chance slider which works in the same way of the time sliders, with higher values meaning a greater chance for the respective note to be chosen for the sequence. Notes can be set by dragging the mouse on the boxes or by using the keys input, in which case the user can set up to 4 notes with incoming MIDI notes using clips or playing live. When keys input is enabled, notes must be pressed and held in order to be set in slots from 1 to 4. The bicord section is where additional notes can be set to be added on the top of the four main notes. We can establish up to two different intervals, which can be balanced using the slider in between them, which also represents a chance of one of the two being chosen over the other. However, there's another parameter explicitly labeled chance, which is used to determine the possibility that a bicord would actually happen. A chance value of 100% means that bicords will be triggered along with each note, while a 0% value means that no bicord is going to be produced. Playing with the values in between allows for interesting harmonic interceptions. We now know how to set up the core idea of the mood. We can now move on to the process section, which is where the stream can be tweaked and fine-tuned. The velocity parameter is where we can set the velocity behavior of the notes produced by Tatat. 
The main dial is where we set the main velocity value, whilst the percentage dial is where we define some variation parameters. With this parameter, we are essentially defining a range of randomness between 0 and 127, from which a new value will be picked each time and, according to the mode set with the button on the left, either added or subtracted from the main velocity value itself, allowing us to create controlled variations in the stream's dynamics. If the resulting velocity exceeds the maximum value of 127, it will simply get clipped. The less dial can be used to insert random silences in the stream, essentially skipping out on some of the generated nodes. This one is also a chance-based parameter. The greater the value, the more is the possibility of removing nodes from the stream. Delay allows for delaying the stream by a certain amount, which corresponds to a value between 0 and 100% of the currently selected time resolution. A value of 0 equals to no delay being applied, while a value of 100% equals to adding an offset of such resolution to the whole stream. It is also possible to listen to the original MIDI stream by activating the dry button in order to add more intricacy. It is even possible to randomize the delay amount by turning on the random button. When in random mode, the delay dial is used to set a range of random percentage values of the current time resolution between which Tatat is going to choose from. The length parameter is used to establish the length of notes produced by Tatat. The dial value represents a percentage value of the currently selected time resolution, which is going to be filled completely when the dial is set to 100%. A value of 0% equals to really short notes to be emitted. Similarly to the random mode of the delay parameter, it is possible to define random length values to be set with each new note. When turning on the random button, the length dial is used to set a random range of percentage values from which status is going to choose from. The memory section is where we can loop some phrases and generate new MIDI files to use in our projects. We can set a buffer length using a time resolution based on our host current tempo settings. The dimension of the buffer will determine the length of both the export and live mem actions. The export function generates a new MIDI file according to the currently defined mode. To export a new MIDI file, simply click on the export triangle, hold your mouse and drag it wherever you want, being it your DAW, your desktop, a folder and so on. A new MIDI file is generated each time, creating different variations, useful to define a set of fixed ideas around the same mode. The live mem slider, on the other hand, allows us to loop a phrase and mix it up with portions of the always changing generated stream. As long as the slider is all the way to the left, at 0%, you can only hear the ever-changing stream of notes while the buffer, which is constantly being recorded and overwritten with the stream, remains inaudible. As soon as the slider moves away from the live-only position, the buffer stops recording and starts playing back a frozen pattern. We can clearly hear the phrase loop by moving the slider all the way to the right. At this point, we can start intercepting the looped phrase in the buffer with the generated stream of notes, by balancing between them using the slider which acts like a chance parameter for notes to be chosen either from one source or the other. 
As long as the slider doesn't return at 0%, the buffer won't be overwritten with new phrases. TATAT is a creative tool to assist and help producers and musicians to generate new ideas, becoming a great starting point for writing melodies and a perfect controller for virtual instruments and hardware gears alike. Explore it and integrate it within your compositions. We are truly curious to listen to what you're going to create with it.